Uh, thank you. Uh, I'd like to say first that there was a comment that the uh, high school courts are open. Those eight courts have been closed to the public for as long as I can remember. I don't know if they're open now, but I don't think they are. Um, I use the courts fairly often, especially during the weekdays and down at Cappy Ricks, as well as elsewhere in town. I find them generally uh, well used. Um, I find a wide variety of people, young and old, new beginners, as well as people who play well down there. I see that tennis is becoming more popular with young people and with old people alike, and I like that. Uh, I think it is a bad idea to talk about any exclusive use of any of our courts for pickleball. Um, I think that one of the key reasons we're facing this issue is that there's been no new park in Martinez in the last 20 years, actually 20 plus years. Um, the population's going up. Uh, there are new uses being asked for of the parks that exist now, and yet we have no new, no new park in 20 years. Uh, that fact that there's no new park is compounded by the other fact that if you look in Martinez, there is only one site in all of Martinez that has the potential to be used as a new park, recreation, uh, open space area. And that area is Pine Meadow Permanent Open Space slash Recreation, which is the Pine Meadow Golf Course. Because it is the only spot left, we call that the last Martinez Park. Now, Pine Meadow was designated as per per permanent open space recreation over 40 years ago when the family asked to be annexed to Martinez, and it remains that today. Um, it's 26 acres, flat, rolling, flat in areas, rolling in other areas with a historic building on it that the public could use. It's connected to both Mount Wanda and beyond in the west and to Mount Diablo in the east by the California Riding and Hiking Trail as well as by other uh, means of access. It's very easily accessible to the public uh, by uh, uh, car, by walking, by bike, by public transportation. We've looked into funding for this and passed this on to the city. We have found through the National Park Service Conservation Fund that, over four, that up to $4 million is available to both purchase and develop the park. We have found through the ABAG program that there's another half million dollars available. There's more places to look. We can find that money from, from grants. We've also surveyed the neighborhoods, and the neighborhoods have said overwhelmingly we are willing to pay tax money to have that park in our area. And thirdly, the city is running surpluses now, both uh, general fund and reserve surpluses, and there are explicit city dollars designed for park purchase and development. When you put that all together, if we work with all of those pots and as a community, we can buy Pine Meadow and make Pine Meadow permanent open space recreation the last Martinez Park. And we ask our city council to lead us in that purchase effort and help make that a possibility. When we do that, conversations like this will be fewer and far between and they'll be a lot easier to have. Thank you.